My name is Brandy Musselwhite. I am 19 years old and I grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina, technically Castle Hayne. I was right there on Blue Clay Road and uh, lived there my entire life. And through elementary school, um, I did a little church work with missionettes. Uh, my bus driver used to pick us up on Wednesdays after school and we would go out there and to this place in, I believe it was Rocky Point. And it was quite nice, you know, having kids my age going to church together and really getting to do stuff that we enjoyed. But I, I did accept the Lord then, but at the same time, it, I didn't really believe it. I, I wasn't really fully, I didn't have the full understanding of what was going on. And, you know, my parents did try to teach me. They did, you know, take me to church every once in a while, but it wasn't, it wasn't every Sunday, it wasn't, once a month. It was just whenever they could. And uh, I've always wanted to have more exposure to it. I just never have. And in middle school, I had a very rough patch in my life from choosing the wrong friends to having the worst thing that could ever happen to a little girl. And uh, I got into high school and kind of ran into a bunch of bad crowds after what had happened in the past. I just kind of tried to be invisible and not really be seen and got involved in RTC and started gaining discipline and really seeing who I was as a person. I started doing exceptionally well at Laney RTC and then uh, my sophomore year I found out that I had to finish the end of the year and then move switch schools to South Brunswick because we had moved out to Brunswick County and schools found out and they said well you know you gotta go. So I started going to South Brunswick, um, ran into a few people, didn't really know anybody, kind of had it rough right there but everything was not too bad. Uh, started meeting you know more of my kind of people than what I was hanging out with which were people who judged me on my past instead of what I am now. And then I met the man that I'm getting ready to marry next weekend, Christian Roberts, and um, we kind of just hit it off from day one. Became best friends, had a class together. I just, I felt like God kept pushing me toward him and, you know, I, we, we did. We wanted to date for a long time, but we couldn't because I was just, I wanted to establish that one great friendship. I'd had guys in my life that just came and left and never really got to really be best friends with any of them and me and him just was something wonderful, you know. I really did feel like God was bringing me there because I didn't want to just, you know, jump into a relationship and get things going down the road. I really wanted to take it slow with him and I think that's, that's what made us what we are now, this wonderful thing. <laughs> so Christian and I and found out we were pregnant and he wanted to go to church because you know we had some problems getting to the other church and we'd heard about this one and the first day that we were supposed to go I ended up being sick of course as he had mentioned and um, so you know he came back from that first day telling me oh my gosh you just you just have to go they had this amazing sermon and and uh, this great music and you just had to come and see it and I was like I know, I'm sorry I missed it, I'll definitely be there next time, so, of course, the next weekend, he goes, come on, we gotta do this. Wake up that morning, throwing up again, I'm just like, alright, let's go, let's go, I'm excited about this. After going to church that first time, I just, I was absolutely blown away. It, Donnie just has this empowering voice, just this, it just makes you want to pay attention. And I was just blown away by the entire thing. And the whole time afterwards, whole ride back to the house, I'm sitting there telling Christian, oh my gosh, like I can't believe this just happened. It was just awesome. And so after that day, we had talked about a preacher to get us married and all. And didn't really have anything set in stone. And he was kind of not sure if he could do it or not. So we were like, well, you know, we just started going to this church. Why don't we ask Donnie? So we went and talked to him and he agreed to do it and decided we were going to do marriage counseling. Um, Donnie asked me that day after church, you know, is that alright with you? I'm not going to be too harsh on you. Just 
just going to kind of take everything easy and kind of try to clear things up. And I was like, okay, you know, let's do this. I'm, I'm up for anything. During one of the marriage counseling sessions that we had with Donnie, I realized that I didn't really know as much about Jesus as what I thought I did. He explained a lot more to me about how things work and why you do what you do, why you do get saved. And so that the past Sunday, I realized that I did want to be saved and I gave myself to the Lord. And it, it just, it felt amazing. It was, it was like no other feeling in the world. It, it felt like my insides were literally taken out of me and something more whole was put inside me. And I just, I wanted to share the experience with everyone that I know. Now that I have accepted the Lord, I feel like I can let go of the things in my life and give them to the Lord. I know that He's watching after us and I know that everything is going to be okay as long as I continue to give myself to Him. You know, the, the sound that you heard in the video, that roar that you hear in the background, um, that's the, the boiler at, uh, at Carolina Pole. <laughs> Um, just in case you were wondering, um, but um, are you nervous? <laughs> hey, she, she's floating, man. <laughs> um, um, this is amazing. I'm not trying to kill time. Just quit shivering. <laughs> Again, um, watching the Lord work in your heart and uh, just watching Him, not just last Sunday, but over a period of time, draw Him, draw you to Himself. He loves you. Jesus loves you. Amazing. More than you can even love yourself. And so today, when you're being baptized, um, you're showing them that Jesus is the Lord of your life, that He's, he's number one. He's going to be the center of um, your life, the center of your marriage, the center of your parenting. And so um, I want you to enjoy this and you guys celebrate with her. And Christian is going to do the privilege of baptizing his future wife to get married next weekend. Right? Next weekend? <clears throat>